Hi guys, welcome back. And today in this video, we'll be talking about yet another AI agent called as Magentic UI. This is an experimental human-centered web agent, which is going to be giving users or the humans the more ability to control the agent where the agent itself is not going to be doing everything for you. You as a human will be in loop to perform all these operations. That is what is this uh, Magentic UI of Microsoft is going to do. As it names, it's an experimental human-centered web agent, which means it is still not available uh, in a full-blown version like Manus, if you really heard about it before, a Chinese company, which does exactly the same kind of operation. So you can go and ask some questions over here. This is going to do things for you. So for example, if you're going to ask like, uh, can you uh, book a, um, a reservation for me in the famous uh, restaurant uh, in uh, Auckland uh, NZ with Mexican cuisine you see that once you ask the question to the manas over here it is going to go and create a plan for you and the plan is going to be uh, started building over here in a small computer as you can go and uh, use this uh, Manus computer use uh, if you just go on uh, maybe you can even open this uh, in the uh, in another window over here look at that so it's gonna show the computer uh, which is going to be performing this operation so uh, at the moment the Manus is doing things for you that's the reason why Manus computer is inactive but the moment it's gonna start working or uh, perform any of the operation it will show you the screen and it will show you how these operations are going to happen over here. Look at that. So this is going to go and search uh, and it's going to perform this operation. This is what Manas does. And this is exactly what uh, Microsoft has built uh, as an answer for the Chinese company Manas over here uh, in uh, over here called as Magentic UI. This Magentic UI is actually powered by Autogen. Again, Autogen is something that we have already talked in our earlier video as well, where we talked how we can build our own agentic multi-agent systems uh, and also how the agentic multi-agent systems can have the ability to do the orchestrations and create or call multiple different tools to perform or achieve a single goal that you actually gave it to. That is exactly what this uh, Autogen is going to do. It's pretty much like Langchain or Llama Index or Google's ADK, which, do, which does the building of the AI agents uh, and rack systems and things. That's exactly what the Autogen is all about as well. Uh, so that is how this uh, Magentic UI is actually powered off. Uh, and as I told you, this Magentic UI over here is going to also have like a live view over here, as you can see where it's going to show you what's exactly going on while you ask any question to this particular agent. It is going to go and uh, open a web browser and it's going to do all these operations for you. Uh, and then it is going to uh, create a plan. It's also going to show you the plan, like how the execution is going to happen. And then it is going to perform those operations for you on your behalf. And again, in all these operations, you as a human are going to be in loop. That is the major benefit of having the uh, Microsoft's uh, Magentic uh, One UI over here. So you as a human are more controlled uh, in this entire operation uh, as you can see in all these videos. That is what exactly what, uh, we are going to be discussing in this particular video. And I will show you how we can make use of this um, Magentic uh, one or Magentic UI to perform this operation. As I told you again, this architecture of the Magentic UI is going to have an orchestrator, web server, coder, and uh, file server. So the orchestrator is the one which is going to perform all these operations for you. Uh, and uh, it's going to control the the web operation, the coding operation, and also file control everything for you while you ask any of the question to the uh, the Magentic one over here. And also you can see that they have got some evaluation result with the simulated user and you can see how better the uh, the accuracy of the Magentic UI uh, and how pretty close they are with the humans itself. This is quite scary, but but yeah, that's what they have told us uh, over here. I'll quickly show you how actually I uh, run this particular Magentic uh, UI along with our local large language model, which is using the Olama, instead of actually using the OpenAI, which is going to take a lot of tokens to perform this operation, you can actually run all of these uh, in the uh, in your local Olama itself. So if I go and click this particular GitHub over here, it's going to go take me to this particular URL. And if I just go scroll down, you can see that you need to create a virtual environment and then you need to install the Magentic UI. Uh, and then you can run over here on this particular port number or you can, uh, yeah, you can also 
uh, run based on the Azure or Olama over here, as they have mentioned. So I have already did that all installation part over here. Uh, so that's the reason why I have got this particular uh, window opened. And actually, this is the same code which I was showing you how we can use the origin to create the uh, agentic multi-agent system. As you can see over here, it also has got an uh, orchestrator, which is nothing but the um, the planner, uh, which is going to do all of these operations by invoking multiple different agents. This is exactly the same thing which is done by um, by this guy as well, the Magentic UI as well, to perform these operations for you over here. All right, same thing, same concept, no big difference between both of them. Uh, so one more time, I can quickly show you what I really did while I was actually working with this particular Magentic UI. I have actually created the, um, uh, the the virtual environment over here and also I installed this Magentic UI something like this and then uh, I installed the uh, PIP install uh, Magentic UI Olama because that is what I really require so this is one thing which I wanted to quickly show you how it, it needs to be done so you just have to do uh, colon and then uh, Magentic UI something like that because that is what you should be doing over here so over here and if you hit enter, this is going to install the Magentic UI Olama for you. Uh, and then you just have to run this guy over here, right? And most importantly, while you run this uh, uh, Magentic UI over here, uh, if you're running with the um, with the uh, OpenAI, uh, you can create an environment or .env file with the OpenAI key and, and do this over there. But if I'm not going to use the OpenAI, you can just remove that .env file and then you can just run the uh, Magentic UI hyphen hyphen port uh, 8081. It's going to run in the local Olama for you, but you need to make some configurations and things. Uh, I'll first open my Olama running within my machine and I'm going to run the Magentic UI in the port uh, 8081. That's going to uh, run things. But look at that. While I started running this particular Magentic UI, it is also going to look for a Docker to be up and running. So you need to make sure that you also have Docker installed in your machine. Uh, if not, it is not going to run because this is going to run on a container which is going to act like a machine which is where the executions are really happening over there. You see that I have actually got the uh, containers which has got this uh, thrusting viscoff, which actually is basically from the uh, magentic one, which is going to be instantiated. See, the moment I start this, and while I start running the uh, the magentic UI, you see that the Docker is going to be checked. It's gonna also check for the VNC browser image, uh, and then it's gonna check for the Python image and launching the web application, and now it is running things for you over here. Uh, in this particular URL. So I'm going to go to this particular URL uh, and look at that. The Manas is currently doing things for me, uh, which is great. I'm not going to worry about that. And I'm going to go open this particular URL. See, I tried some things over there. That's the reason why it's showing me all of these, which is amazing. I'm just going to leave that as it is. And I'm going to create a new session. And you can see that the, the Magentic UI comes in over here. In order to work with the uh, the Olama, you just have to go to the settings and go to the advanced, um, sorry, the model configurations. Uh, and over here, make sure that you choose Olama there. That is very important. You need to choose the Olama in order for you to run uh, this uh, this guy with the Olama. If you're going to be using OpenAI, which is the default, it is going to be taken from here. And make sure that the env file on that particular directory exists. But because I'm going to use the Olama local, I want to choose the Olama over here. And I need to choose the model. Uh, so my Olama will have different model from the one which is shown on that particular uh, UI. So I need to go uh, see the list of Olama that I have got. And I have got these many models. Uh, and let's say I'm going to take this uh, Llama 3.2 uh, latest uh, model. And I'm going to go paste it over here. Uh, so you don't have to save it, to be honest. Uh, and then you can just close it. It is by default going to be chosen from there. See that this is the thing just going to be taken. Uh, and now you can start interacting it. And this guy is going to work with the power of your local large language model uh, over there. 
Over here, I'm just going to probably ask, uh, can you make a markdown file with the Python that summarizes the Microsoft Autogen repository? Let's see if that's really going to happen or not within my local machine. Uh, and look at that. Now, the moment I do this, immediately on the right-hand side, there is going to be a live view, which is actually going to show me uh, what exactly is going to happen on this particular screen, which is pretty much like the Manus computer that we have got, which is going to do the same kind of operation uh, that we have over here as well in the Magenta uh, UI. Uh, and we can probably say, uh, we can now go and ask some questions if we really have any over there. So in this particular UI, um, now I can, as a user, I can go and ask the questions over here, uh, saying uh, code, uh, show me code, especially uh, in the uh, uh, C++, oh, C++. And if I hit enter, uh, if everything goes fine, it is going to go and uh, the Magenta UI is going to go and show me the plan that it is going to go and execute uh, on the right hand side on the particular screen to perform this operation. Uh, and if we like the particular plan, we can then execute the plan from there. So just waiting for this to happen. And because it is running within my local Olama, this process takes a bit of a time uh, or maybe more time because it depends on the complexity of the question that we are asking in, these things will change. But if you are working the same on uh, the open AI, it's much faster. I've seen that it works fine, but you see that now it shows me something that Autogen repository provide range of tools and various programming languages. Great. Can you show me the details? Oops, it's still not showing. Uh, that's a, that's a KVR with a local machine that we have got. Maybe uh, I can create a new session and ask some other questions. Let's say the same question that I asked with the uh, with the manus over here. So I'm going to go copy the same question. I'm going to paste it over here. And let's try to ask this question this time to see if this works or not. Um, there we go. It's going to hopefully do that. And look at that. We have got this plan over here. It says search for the popular uh, and well-known Mexican restaurant in Auckland, New Zealand uh, using Bing. Consider factor like review, cuisine, quality, and customer rating to select the appropriate establishment. And then navigate to the chosen restaurant official website and book uh, or a booking platform if available and fill out the reservation forms. So now over here, you can also add other steps uh, saying also uh, book the table by uh, 8 p.m. Uh, on Friday, so you can also do that over here. You can keep on adding the steps that use uh, that is needed for this particular plan to be executed. So this is what is this uh, the human-centered web agent because you have more control in the agent before the agent itself start performing any of the operation. Because over here, as you can see in the manus, this guy creates all the plan for us and uh, it will uh, execute things for me. But over here, we as a human has got more control uh, and we can also change the ui during this particular operation uh, uh, and then perform the op uh, the action over there that's the power of how we can make use of the magentic ui as opposed to the uh, the manus or any other uh, web agents so over here because we have given all the steps now i can accept the plan and the moment we accept this plan the uh, magentic ui is going to start performing the operation on the right hand side and then it's going to execute. And one more time, just a word of caution, because we are running everything within our local machine, these things might be way slower uh, than compared to how you do it with um, with the actual uh, actual OpenAI APIs or maybe the Anthropic API, because those are very faster. It runs the inferencing on the, on the actual cloud uh, than what we are doing over here. Look at that. So now it has went to the Bing. It is going to... Uh, fine for the famous uh, Mexican restaurants uh, in Auckland. And you'll also notice that pretty much like the computer used, the mouse will just hover here and there and it's going to go and click things for me uh, and it's going to perform the operation as if like a user. And any point of time, you can take the control and this uh, Magenta UI is going to wait for the operation to happen. So if I go take the control, look at that. Now the Magenta UI is going to say, mm, I will wait for you to complete uh, before you hand it over 
to me. So if I go and give it back to the Magentic uh, UI, now the Magentic UI takes control uh, and then perform the operation. So this is the level of how the entire operation happens uh, with the Magentic UI as opposed to um, the other web AI agent which is available. So I'm going to say uh, continue because now this guy has stopped executing things. So I'll just wait for the entire execution to happen. And I can also say that in the step two, it says make a reservation of the chosen website. Uh, based on the search result, we have identified several popular uh, restaurants. So this will help you choose the most. Could you please provide any preference? So I'm going to say um, maybe traditional uh, because that's what it is asking me to uh, give some answer. So if I uh, answered that like traditional uh, Mexican restaurant I really wanted to go with. So now it is going to go and process based on the traditional restaurant that it has found. There we go. And because we have given the traditional uh, over here, the plan has changed. So I'm going to go and accept this plan. Uh, and now this plan is accepted and the Magenta UI is going to keep executing based on that plan that it has got right now. And finally, you can see that we have got uh, the details over here. So based on the search, uh, it has found on the trip advisor that the highlighted traditional uh, rex restaurant is the Mexican Mexicali Fresh New Market. It has got 28 unbiased reviews uh, and uh, the ratings are not specified. And these are the details it has got. And it is also saying that next up is it need to go to this uh, Mexicali Fresh Auckland over there. You can go and click this. This is an official website for booking. We can navigate there and then we can also uh, book the ticket. Uh, and if you are using the actual uh, OpenAI uh, model, then we can also say, can you go and book it in this particular link? It will also do it for you. But I don't think this is going to work within my local machine because it's already cranking the fan sound over there. So maybe I can try, but... I'm not 100% sure whether this work or not, but we can say, can you uh, book it for me from the site you have mentioned? And hopefully it is going to go and do this for me as well. But this is the thing, guys. This is how you can see that the Magentic UI can do things for you on your behalf. Well, you can just ask some questions and the Magentic UI is going to do things uh, and it is going to take control of the entire system to do this operation. So because now we have asked to book the new site over there, so see that it has created a new plan and now it is going to do this uh, this entire operation for me this time as an entire new operation, new plan altogether. So that is what is going to happen on the uh, right hand side over here. Just wait and see what is really going to happen there. So you see that now it's going to give me telling me like what I should do. Okay, uh, go for it because it's asking me that uh, navigate to this particular URL and then do it. So it's going to keep doing it. Yeah, I know this is uh, this is not doing quite a lot of different operation. I suppose this thing ha should have happened by itself. And because it is running within my local machine and also a very, very small model, uh, it is not handling all these operations for me. But um, this should ideally be taken care by the, uh, the Magentic UI to do it for me over there. So this is about the Magentic UI. And I think this is quite awesome where it does things for me uh, automatically. And you can also see that this is pretty much like the Manus, which is going to do the same kind of operation. I've also tried out with some other plans over here. For example, I also tried doing the reservation uh, over here before and also it did a lot of different search to perform this operation and also tried finding the latest publication of the Microsoft research uh, over there. And also, it gave me all the links as you can see over here and also tried creating a new login uh, for my uh, for the website like PB Tech and it also did the same exact things over there. So all these operations were actually happening for me uh, while I tried the different sessions. So see how that goes for you, like how you can use the Magentic UI to perform this operation. But this is quite cool. This is another web agent which is human centered which gives more access to the human uh, and it helps you perform the operation and this is yet another tool which i think is quite amazing built on the top of autogen once again thank you so much for watching this video catch you in the next one